Hey guys, I'm Sam here at NA Studios. Today I'm going to show you how you can derive kick and snare from a stereo drum mix where you don't have the luxury of having an individual kick and snare channel. I'm going to be using Trigger 2 to do this and it's going to sound something like this. All right, I'm going to start off by duplicating my drum track a couple of times. I'm going to go into my kick and really dig into this with some EQ. Let's zone in around that one frequency that we can see, the resonant frequency of the kick. I think a transient shape is going to help here. Let's zone in on just that band again. Okay, we've zoned in on just that kick. Let's load up Trigger 2 and let's choose our favourite kick sample. I'm going to use CLA Kick 4 because because it sounds great. And then I'm going to go to my gate just so I don't get anything at all. I'm going to take this high cut all the way down to 400. With the original drums. Onto the snare then. I need to do this in a slightly different way. We're going to first go to our kick and snare in the mixer and we're going to send them to a bus. I'm going to go for bus 14. I'm going to make those both have independent pan and they're going to sends on faders. In trigger, anything in the right hand side is going to be suppression. Anything on the left is going to be the signal that we want. It's going to trigger the snare. It's going to suppress the kick drum. That's what we want. Let's use our EQ and transient shaper trick on the snare as well and get it to be the best it can be. So I'm still getting a little bit of kick there and this is why the leakage suppression is going to be so important because I can tell trigger not to trigger when the kick is coming in but do trigger when the snare is coming in. Let's set that up now. Let's put trigger on my snare trigger channel. Let's bring up the suppression knob all the way. The red waveforms are the stuff that it's suppressing, the stuff that I'm telling trigger I don't want to trigger and then the blue waveforms, the normal waveforms are the stuff that I do want to trigger. That's the snare. Let's load up our favourite snare sound. Stick on Revival, give it some low, give it some high. Super easy way to improve your drum sound using Trigger 2 when you don't have individual kick and snare mics. You can use this on kick and snare, you can use this on toms, you can use it on cowbell if you want to. I love it and it's such an easy way to do this with Trigger 2. Thanks so much for watching, take care.